How should Rodgers feel after these moves? Well, I think I think that, uh, you know, Packer fans should be concerned. I mean, obviously, we understand what the NFL is, and I'll leave it to Max Kellerman to belabor that because that's what he likes to do. But the point is, is that it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's another element. I didn't ask you to speak yet. Your turn is coming. Here's the deal. This is the reality of the situation. It's not just about talent with Jordy Nelson. It's about how the, ha the Packers have handled things. I'm not about to sit here and tell you after having the season that he had, which was the worst in his career, even though most of it was with Brett Hundley as his quarterback as opposed to Aaron Rodgers. I think it's easy to assume that Jordy Nelson would have had more than 500 receiving yards if Aaron Rodgers was throwing the football instead of Brett Hundley. But that's neither here nor there. We understand that he lost a step, that he's age 33, unlike Randall Cobb, who you could have said, sacrificed and it would have saved you uh, uh, close to an equal amount of money that it would have saved by getting rid of Jordy Nelson. The bottom line is Randall Cobb is 27. Jordy Nelson is 33. We get all of that and we understand that he lost a step. We'll concede that. Here's the problem. If you look at the way that Green Bay has been doing business, Lewis, this is what my problem is. They didn't call Jordy Nelson, according to the reports. They never reached out to him to see if he would entertain restructuring his contract, taking a pay cut, doing something to facilitate the Green Bay Packers, keeping him on board. If you are a veteran, if you are a leader, if you are a favorite of the franchise quarterback who's a flat-out superstar who would make him look exponentially better than he looked last season, and you couple that with the fact that you got rid of the quarterback coach just a few weeks earlier without even talking to Aaron Rodgers, which rubbed him the wrong way, I have problems with how the Green Bay Packers are choosing to do business. There are exceptions to every rule. No matter what the rule is, it's modified to some degree in favor of greatness and because of the greatness of Aaron Rodgers and what he brings to the table for this franchise and the entire NFL because of what you witnessed what life was out what was like without him had because he went down this past season and you had to rely on somebody else all I'm saying is you want to do everything you can to exhaust whatever possibilities exist to make sure that you're not alienating the superstar that is Aaron Rodgers. That is my concern here. It's not about Jordy Nelson in a vacuum in terms of his talent. It's about the collateral damage that it, that it has with Aaron Rodgers because of who he is and how you've already spent time rubbing him the wrong way. That's that where I'm coming from with this, Max. That's what that I think that applies to a quarterback's coach. Obviously, I think you should talk to Aaron Rodgers if you're the Green Bay Packers. If you're in charge, you're making those decisions. Quarterback's coach, yes. Jordy Nelson, no. Sorry, don't have to do that. Ten years in the league, ten years on the team, coming off injury, lost a step. He's your outside threat. He's twelve and a half million against the cap. This is a hard cap league, which means you must evaluate properly price commodities and the players are commodities. It's not that there isn't a human dimension. I understand there is. But a quarterback's favorite receiving target does not rise to that level when he is diminished, he is expensive. And once you saw the Packers pay Devontae Adams, what did you think was going to happen to Jordy Nelson? What do you think? Aaron Rodgers didn't know Jordy Nelson was going to get cut? Of course. That or released. That's the way it works in the NFL. There are situations that rise to the, to the uh, um, level you're discussing, Stephen A. A quarterback's coach is one of them. Your favorite diminished outside threat who's already been replaced and paid on the roster and counts against the cap does not rise to that level. Sorry.